Yo, what's going on? I'm back with y'all for my first load of this week. Uh, right now, I am in Lebanon, Tennessee at the REI warehouse. Uh, just picking up my uh, loaded trailer since I had to do a drop and swap, which just means take it, take it loaded trailer out the door, grab the empty one, and then you know. Swap it out, pretty much. So, anywho, uh, just got a load of sports equipment and different other sports goods and stuff of that nature. But anywho, uh, so right now I'm just going ahead and getting my, uh, <clears throat> my bad, y'all. Trying to get my strap and all that together so I can go ahead and, uh, Start rolling. The load is like, I'm sorry, 8,800 pounds. So, you already know I'm about to slide with it. Uh, I was going to a pla place called Fast Now in Fast Lane Now or Fast Now or something like that in Orlando, Florida. So, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this load rolling. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get down this road some. Uh, low pays like $22.85, if I remember correct. So, definitely not a bad way to start my next week. So, I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting this together and then get back to rolling. All right, y'all, I'm gonna holler at y'all in Orlando. Yo, I just got to my delivery. Um, just sitting here. Um, well, I just dropped my trailer in the door over the. Well, I show y'all. Cause uh, I did not know before. Well, my first time I came here, this is actually a drop the hook. But I dropped my trailer over there on the other side of that JB Hunt trailer. So as of right now. Uh, your boy about to hurry up so I can get back um, at least to the crib because I can't make it all the way to Jacksonville like I would like to. And I, I just ain't going to have time pretty much. So I'm going to go ahead and um, finish pre-tripping this trailer that I'm picking up and about to hurry up and get down this road a little bit, a little piece. And get myself to the house because, uh, yeah, definitely trying to definitely trying to make sure uh, I'm good to run for tomorrow so I can get over to uh, do a pickup and then uh, get back up to Cookville. And then see what else I will have from there. Um, back to the house for Monday. Because uh, your boy trying to hurry up and get home. Because I'm not going to have any hours uh, to really run. Um, run it with, uh, I mean, run on recaps like that. So I'm going to just go ahead and, you know do it like that that'll be three loads so far for this week uh which is a new week for us so i'm gonna go ahead and uh do that and you know try to see what type of week i can make out of that because this right here was only like eight thousand pounds and it paid 22.85 before the 70 percent cut yet again um so and then I only spent like maybe for this load like maybe 200 bucks in fuel um, and depth so realistically I shouldn't have to spend any more until today uh, when I get back up to um, yeah I said back up to Tennessee but uh, let me hurry up and get this done so I can get back to rolling and go lay down because uh, it's what well, about to be three in the morning so yeah but i'm sorry about it yeah it's about to be three in the morning 
So let me hurry up and get back to rolling. Peace. YouTube. I'm at my pickup over here at EFI. I mean, EFI. EFW in uh, Savannah. Uh, just picked up my trailer. It is heavy as I don't know what. Uh, like 36,000 pounds. Which means I'm gonna burn a lot more fuel going up to Cookville. Up through those uh, nine and well, eight and nine percent grades, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, I got a load picking up from the Hinkle uh, again. Uh, it's picking up from Hinkle in uh, Bowling Green. I picked up sometime like probably two thirty or so tomorrow afternoon, and then I slide back to Florida. Uh, gotta go to Walmart with that one. Uh, of course, this one pays like uh, 20, I'm sorry, not 20, but uh, 12, 27 before the 70% cut and my expenses. Um, I think my next one pays like 2,200. Um, so I'm already up three loads for the week before I go home and uh, take my 34. But as of right now, I think I'm grossed out at like 5,500 um, so far. I mean, it ain't bad for just three loads. I mean, it's gonna be a lot more fuel just because the next, this load and my next one is gonna potentially be, next one definitely um, could potentially be like in the 30s, uh, in the 30,000 um, pound range, but we'll see. Um, but I'm gonna try to go ahead and slide this joke up here and uh, get down the road some. Well, not some, because I'm, I'm delivering this in the morning. But uh, anyway, I know I, I'm going to have to get fuel at some point. Uh, probably but, uh, probably before I get right to my pickup. Because uh, that would be the cheapest sp uh, spot for like 340 So, go ahead and uh, get this joker down the road, and uh, I'll be back with y'all. Well, good, y'all. I'm over at my delivery in Cookville, Tennessee. Of course, y'all already know where that's at. Uh, the Academy Sports. So, anywho, uh, just finishing off this load. Nah, it was a good one, it was just heavy. That was about all I could say with this one. Uh, she was just a heavy old girl, pretty much. But, um, One the only other thing I could say about it is it used up a lot of fuel or a decent amount of it, I don't know what I say, but anywho. So I'm headed over here to uh, Kentucky next to go do that load. Well, let me rephrase that. I can't do it because I have to wait until um, three I'm sorry, 2.30 in the afternoon to check in. But, um, anywho. So, uh, that load will pay like 20, like 2,200 um, going down to Walmart and Brooksville. So, after that, back to the house because it's, it's been some it's, it's been a week I put to you like that but uh anywho so as of right now we're gonna go ahead and finish this up uh taking my pictures and all and we're gonna get the rolling but all right y'all I'm gonna holler at y'all a little bit later bang with y'all I'm over at my pickup at Hinkle in um Bowling Green Kentucky um uh, kind of seem kind of out of it right now because I just sat here for about like maybe three hours or so trying to deal with the broker on getting this um just pickup number um for this load because I uh, parked them early this morning and um I was just trying to get in and all that good stuff but anywho uh so as of right now uh i just bumped the dock maybe 30 minutes ago and i'm um just getting
did load up. So we're gonna see how heavy this load is, I ain't. And then uh, for whatever reason, this load don't deliver until Tuesday morning instead of delivering early in the morning on Monday like I thought, uh, which I was hoping it would deliver on Monday. So now I can actually get my 34 in, so. But anyway, I'm gonna figure out something, but um, yeah, if y'all uh, have to deal with a broker on a Sunday, especially if it has to be uh, Alan Lund, make sure you got your information while they're still open during the week or the day before, because uh, otherwise you're gonna have to stay here forever just trying to get the information to come through on your um, tracking app that they want you to use. They have their own tracking app, which, eh, it's a tracking app. I put it like that. It's not the best. It works-ish. <laughs> but anywho, um, this load was paying me 2100 to go back to Brooksville to the Walmart. So since um, I already know I could have been there by five, six in the morning at latest. Um, even though my appointment is for 8.30 on Tuesday morning, I'm going to just go ahead and uh, today, after they finish loading milk, I'm going home. Because uh, it don't make no sense of me going all the way down to, down to Brooksville and can't do nothing um, until Tuesday. So, I'm just going ahead and go home and um, try to deliver this load on Tuesday and see what happens. And uh, try to give me a 34 in real quick. Roll from there, but I'll ask y'all later. Oh, yeah, as of right now, I'm grossed out at like tw uh, not 25, but um, 5600 before the 70 percent cut and before my expenses. Uh, I have spent a little bit more on fuel this week. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's just the weight of the lows or either. Just the quality of fuel um, at some of the places that I've been going to recently, which I'm about to try to change something up and start back on like the big chains again, and just see if I know it's a huge difference in between going to like speedways, racetracks. Uh, so go from there and see. But I'll uh, keep y'all updated as uh, I go. I'm at my delivery over here in Brooksville uh, at the Walmart. Just uh, got unloaded. Um, realistically, it's just a pulling fax. So, I mean, I should have been done. Ah, well, it's like 10 o'clock right now. Um, usually with a pulling fax, you just they just hurry up, unload the trailer, and then just keep you rolling. Um, usually I'm done within like an hour or so, but last couple of times I came here, uh, seems like they've been taking a lot longer. My appointment was for 8.30, out here at 7.30, and y'all just get me done, which to me don't make sense, because I've been here since, yet again, 7.30, and now it's 10 o'clock. So something ain't adding up right there. For that, y'all might as well just count everything out and take y'all time, which will use your eagle up to about the same thing. But anywho, uh, low was like 42,000 pounds. Wasn't really happy about it, because I had a blowout. Uh, actually, two blowouts, dose blowouts. Uh, I can actually show y'all in one second. So, this way y'all ain't gotta see him, his loud behind the truck just running. Uh, but anywho, I had two blowouts yesterday morning um, before I got home. And yeah, and stupid things that happened like five miles away from my crib on the highway.
it messed up a few things um which i mean i got the pictures on my phone uh, that i took before um the petrol out of reddick florida came up um to do it well after the guy came there to um, do it i got some pictures and all that that i'm gonna of course put in the video right when i show y'all the tires like i'll pause the video so y'all can see it um or you'll just add at the end of this clip but anywho um i appreciate the guy who came out his name was cordell pretty cool guy if y'all ever need any tires or anything if you're in the area of ocala or reddick florida or gainesville call the petrol that'll get you a good price um it only cost me a good bit of money because of course i broke down the side of the road but uh i mean if you can of course make it there you get a good price that's usually where i get my tires at if i'm at home or if i need like if I know if I need a tire or just need air in my tire, I go there and they usually hook me up or like even my PM and whatever like that because I will have to actually go there for a PM. Um, but anywho, uh, low paid like twenty, two, I'm sorry, twenty one hundred even uh, before the seven percent cut. Uh, so. Uh, I'm going to take my 34 I'm going to try to see if I can maybe pick up two more things to run me out uh, for the week since I've technically done three loads so far so I'm going to try to at least get my five in because I'm already at like $5,600, $5,700 for the week off of just three loads so I'm trying to run it back up real quick to like eight 82 to 87 maybe 8800 because i'm trying to i'm trying to have another good gross week like uh i mean not gross but net week like last week i end up netting uh like three grand so i'm gonna try to see what i can do because um yeah i like my money and especially when it's easy to make it i don't have to work extremely hard or do like four five thousand miles a week just to make that type of money but anywho um let me go ahead and finish up my paperwork and all that so i can make it home and actually have a day off but all right y'all what's going on i'm back with you i'm at my pickup right now at the efi in savannah uh right now i'm about to uh hurry up Finish my pre-trip on my trailer because I just dropped my empty. Um, just got my bills, my paperwork. I'm sorry, <laughs> my trailer. I'm sorry, not my trailer. My load is like 8,500 pounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and, um, of course, slide this trailer all the way down. To, uh, I'm sorry, all the way up to um, Cookville to the um, to the academy. Sorry, have a little brain fart. Um, but anywho, I was low paid like twelve twenty three today, uh, which is it can alternate sometime on what it pay. But I mean, hey, I'm all right with it. Um, so anywho, uh, my next load that I'm supposed to go pick up is a, um, I'm sorry, it's not even supposed to be a load. I'm just supposed to be picking up an empty from Academy, taking right back to, uh, bringing right back to Savannah, to the EFW. So, quite happy about that one, cause uh, with that, all I gotta do is just pick, it, pick the empty up in the morning um once we find out which one i'm supposed to be getting bring it right back here to savannah and then uh yeah uh that'll be the end of my week um uh, because i'll be grossing out at um should be i should be grossing out like uh i'm sorry 7900 um before the 70 percent cut so 
won't be quite a three grand check, but it'll still be a good check. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that run and I should be done for the week. But yeah, again, that's just a plan um, for what I'm supposed to be doing, but we will see because you know, things never end up staying the same. But anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and um, Well, finish doing my paperwork and stuff real quick, doing my pre-trip, and I'm going to get the rolling. But that's it for right now. I will let y'all know if anything transpires or, you know, I'll let y'all know when I get to my delivery. I'm going to let y'all later. What's going on, y'all? I'm back with you. I'm over here at my, at my delivery at the Academy in Cookville. Um, I say delivery, but it's both. It's a delivery and a pickup. Um, Cause what I'm about to do now is I'm dropping off my uh, loaded and I'm about to hook up to an empty. Um, Cause I'm supposed to run it back to uh, Savannah. So, what I'm gonna go ahead and do it real quick here. Go ahead and drop this trailer, hook up to the empty. Um, for that for that run, they'll pay me before the cut um, 1,100 bucks, which I mean it's only going like 450 miles at most. So I mean, not bad. Plus, I will be. Grossing before the cut, 7,900 bucks. So, I mean, I hauled a light load up here and I'm not hauling anything back. So, I mean, realistically, I did pretty good for the week. Um, I'd let y'all know at the end of this uh, video what I actually spent in fuel because I did not calculate all that yet because. I know I need to at least get fuel one more time um, just because I didn't earlier. Well, I ain't get much fuel. I just got enough to get me up here and back um, down into Chattanooga just because it is a little bit cheaper in Chattanooga than uh, when I got it in Jackson, um, Georgia. But I mean, it's all right. Um, I didn't even spend that much to get up here. I only put in, I think like, 200 bucks um or like maybe two well after the uh fuel discount i might only spend like 230 or so um but anywho i'm gonna go ahead and finish this up real quick and we'll hook up to this trailer and then shut down uh, but i'll let y'all